Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to do a very quick overview walkthrough of the percussion library content on the occasion of this version 5 release. If you check out our YouTube channel and the percussion playlist, you'll see that there are a lot of um, kind of uh, previous walkthroughs which have in, um, more stuff for you to have a listen to from the content. So I'm not going to go into a massive amount of detail. This is going to be a kind of overview. So I'm going to start off with the drums high. You'll see that we, we're using Kickstarters as the percussion engine now. So if you check out, there's another video on specifically on the functionality of Kickstart to help get you up and running. But um, the snare um, snares one, two and three, you can hear that's snare one. The edge and rim are set on this one. And if you have a look at snare two, that's the hit and the edge. And then snare three hits. I'm just going to quickly switch to the close mic so you can check these out. Have a listen to these then. So that's a, a little selection of the sounds from there. And then if we listen to the ambient mics. So you'll hear the positioning, the ambient mics give you the widest sound so that when you're blending your, your sound together, you might want to go for the kind of tree, the Decca tree, the, the kind of classic sound. A little bit of close mic in there, just adjust that to taste according to how present you want the sound to be and then your ambient mics give you a nice width to the sound so have a listen to this and if I change the close mic you can hear that changing as well if we pull these right down and we change the balance have a listen So it gives you a good idea there. Um, all of these controls you'll see in the other in the other videos. So I'm not going to spend a long time looking at those. But if I carry on playing, you can see how things are mapped over the keyboard here. Um, so we go to just quickly play through some of these sounds. Actually, I'm going to give you a slightly more interesting full uh, mix. So if we go again, have a very quick listen to the close mics on their own. So that gives you a great idea with the, um, of, of everything that you're hearing there, the rototoms there at the top. Um, so there are obviously all kinds of other articulation swells and, and all kinds of stuff on the snares. You've got flams, brushes. Um, rolls and swells. The swells with the um, have have various different lengths as well, which can be changed on the variation slider. I'm not going to go um, too much into into huge detail of that. As I say, you can look at the other at some of the other walkthroughs on the previous versions of the library with the previous scripts um, where I've played through loads and loads of the sounds with different mics and stuff. So let's have a quick listen to what we've got in here. That's a nice sound. That's the tree mics with the gong drum. If we go switch to the close mics. So that's the hit. And that's a muted hit. Um, obviously, again, we've got various things there. But if we look um, next up, we've got the field drum. And then we've got, uh, switch off roll on highest velocity. If we go to the tree mic. And then we have a listen to the ambient mic. And then we have next up would be the toms. And then if we go back through the mics again, so switch back to the tree. And then go to the close mic so you can hear that one. And again, you can adjust the taste to get a really nice kind of balance of sound. And then you've got all of your normal swells, all that kind of stuff in there as well. So let's go back to, let's just stick with a close mic now, and then we'll have a look at the bass drum. So the bass drum, you've got a variety of hits. 
and then the soft hit. Muted hit. And the kind of rute, um, which is the stick on the edge, on the rim of the drum. But if we have a quick listen at the, again to the tree mic of those. And then again to the ambient mic. I love that, actually, that sound, um, that rute sound, I love to use as a kind of clicky, you know, it sounds really, really nice if you put, just put the close mic and then the ambient mic. It's great to use as a kind of, you know, a kind of background ticky sound for nice little bit of soft rhythm going on in the background there so that gives you an overview um with the bass uh drum obviously if you, you can use the soft hit you can boost it right up here um play it softly you'll get more bass end in it so if you want to vary how much bass end you've got then i would recommend a lower velocity and then pushing the output up um, and you'll find that the frequency distribution changes. So this, the harder you play it, the more kind of slappy it becomes and the less bass frequency you get. It's a common common um, uh, misconception there with the bass drum um, that if you give it a good a good hard thwack, you get loads of nice bottom end as of it, but in fact, it's the opposite way around. So we'll start with the marimba and the tree mics come up first. We'll turn off the roll on high velocity and have a listen to this. So really lovely sound. Let's go back and have a look at the close mics. Great stuff. And the ambient mic. And again, let's just put up a very quick overall mix. So you get the idea. Um, it's interesting, it's very, very different from just uh, recording something close and dry and then adding reverb. The timbre of the instrument changes as the sound is bouncing around the room. If you've got a great room to record in, um, then percussion really, really comes to life when it's been recorded in a in a real acoustic, in a really nice acoustic. Um, we'll see that on on the other tune stuff as well. Let's have a, a listen through. We'll go to the um, Celeste next, and we could start with the Espressivo patch, which is my favourite. It's just a slightly different, um, slightly different kind of arrangement of the dynamics. Anyway, have a listen to this. So let's try the tree mic. And then if we listen to the ambient mic. Really lovely stuff. Um, Crotales next. Um, listen to the close first. We'll do CTA on each of these. And then switching to the tree. And then the ambient. That's a really clear example, actually, of how the high frequencies change quite drastically, uh, and the overall sound of the instrument changes quite drastically when you switch to the um, to the real ambient recording. Um, and again, that's something you can blend in to taste. Let's 
your close mics for the decibels. Here's the tree. Very dynamic again. And then if we look at the Glock, I'm going to control, uh, rather than do this with the mouse every time, I'm going to do it from my keyboard. I've got a slider set to the, to the um, CTNA mics on my keyboard. So standard CCs across the range. So if I just right click on those, you'll see what they are. 22, 23 and 24 for these three mics. Um, and also a useful tip, um, you could bung, you could have like 12 tracks of percussion in your setup stick the, all of the tracks in record in Logic and then just set the mics according to how you want the thing to and all of the patches will, will move uh, to the appropriate levels. So that's quite a useful and quick way of setting the mic mix across a number of tracks. So that's a quick blast through those. Uh, we just did the marimba. Let's look at the timps. And again, we'll start with the close. So you can hear the sound changing quite dramatically as I'm changing the mics there. A lot of flexibility in there. That's a very dynamic patch as well, the, um, the Timbs. So here are the tubular bells. Let's switch to the normal, actually, it's the muted patch. Very nice. Uh, let's have a look at the vibraphone. And <laughs> so you can see how to use the roll on high velocity. So it will work for some things, won't be so great for others, but um, here's the patch just normal. And if we go back to the tree, we have a listen to the um, motor sus patch. It's a modelled patch um, because obviously you wouldn't be able to record all of the, the the motor would sound like it was going at a different uh, speed for a different note or a different um, different kind of start position, different position in the in the rotation. So this is modelled, but it still sounds great. Um, put a bit of close in as well. Have a listen to this. Now the other thing is, you can hear that sometimes you might want to change the releases. You might want to just pull those back a little bit. So for this kind of patch, the releases slider is quite useful. You just play your part in with the exact kind of sound that you want and then just adjust the releases to taste. So let's have a look at the xylophone. Fabulous sounding xylophone, that one. Um, let's go for the unpitched metal. Uh, so there's a great collection of stuff in here. Again, we'll start with the tam tam. I'll just kind of play up the keyboard. Just a quick walkthrough. I think there's more detail on this in the uh, in the individual section walkthroughs, but um, just to give you an overview. So the close mic.
quick look through and then the ambient. So some lovely stuff in there. Our unpitched wood, uh, we'll have a quick listen through. Um, and also just a, in, of interest, there's obviously the variations in amongst here as well. So um, we'll have a quick listen through, first of all, the claves. Oops, sorry, wrong octave. <laughs> um, we've got the wood blocks. And then if we switch to the hard stick, And then we've got the temple blocks. And if we switch uh, again back to the rubber. So that's uh, very nice stuff there. Let's have a look at the close mic. So some great stuff in there. Finally, last but not least, the toys. Tons of great stuff in here. We'll start with the close mics for this one. So it gives you just a quick blast through some of those sounds. You can get a flavor for how they sound in the hall. Really, really lovely stuff. So we're very happy to bring you this um, version five of our seminal orchestral percussion library um, featuring the incredible Joby Burgess. Um, we feel that having put it into this Kickstart engine, um, Blake's uh, new creation, it really brings it to life. It um, gives you a fresh lease of life on these samples and, and really makes it very, very usable. It's great to, um, to be able to use uh, some kind of ensembles that we've got a few kind of pre-made ensembles here, which you can, you know, there's some fun stuff to play with. Uh, um, we've got uh, things like hands and hits. Um, all kinds of stuff, all kind of uh, all kind of grouped together, and then if you click on these, you see you've got um, you've got a couple of different things set up. So there's some nice collections. There's a few different things in in um, blended together. Um, and you've got the trad orchestral, which gives you everything you need, kind of up front for very very straightforward orchestral arrangements so you can mix and match um, there's some great stuff in here there's the unmapped stuff that you can set up exactly how you want you can move stuff all over the keyboard really easily just um, check out the other walkthrough on, on the functionality of kickstart to see that so thanks very much for watching this quick walkthrough um, look forward to seeing you on the next one bye bye